There's a real problem within the fitness industry and it's finally time that we actually talk about it. So to give you a little backstory, I've been in the industry for over 12 years now. I think we uploaded our first YouTube video for fun 13 or 14 years ago. And coach Josh and myself have actively been coaching clients for around nine years now and we've helped generate over 4,000 transformations. The reason I'm sharing this is because we've seen every single different type of trend. We've seen a lot of money being wasted. We pay attention to a lot of data out there to see what's working, what's not. And unfortunately, things just aren't actually getting better. They're only going to get worse. And the reason I want to talk about this today is because there's so much money being spent, yet so little results actually taking place. And when you actually look at the data, it says in 2024, the global fitness industry is expected to generate around 100 billion. That's not with an M, billion dollars, reflecting ongoing trends in health and wellness. And when you actually look at a couple other statistics, it says, as of 2024, the rates of overweight and obesity in the United States remain significant public health concerns. So we have to ask ourselves, as so much money is going out and being spent on memberships, on diet plans, on whatever it is, on certain fitness classes, why are the results not getting better? You'll start to notice trends going upwards in terms of money being spent, but there's no significant changes with actual results, decreases of obesity rate, decreases of uh, health issues or anything like that. It's only consistently going up. And one other thing here, it says approximately 70% of adults are classified as overweight or obese with around 40% meeting criteria for obesity. So I'm going to start off with what the main problems are and what I observe from an outside perspective. Now, once again, I do pay attention to a lot, but I try not to get too into the weeds of different marketing tactics and I try not to waste too much time, but I do find that when I see what's happening, it allows me to be able to better serve my clients, to be able to better market my actual program and all that stuff. But I think the biggest thing is just money is being spent on all the wrong things. So anytime you go on Instagram, anytime you follow a specific influencer, whatever it is, there's always a massive push for these quick fixes. That was easy. And for those of you who have goals that you're trying to hit and you wanna to get to that next level, it sounds so good, whatever it is that they say. And I'm just gonna use some different examples, whether it's some sort of keto diet, whether it's some sort of like fat loss tea, maybe even like a waist trainer, uh, what do they call it, sweet sweat, the more that you sweat, the, 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 the more weight you lose. There's so many things being pushed out. And so the issue is marketing is just getting better and better and better. And they know exactly how to get to your sweet spot. They know exactly how to get to that point where you're just sitting there and you're like late at night, it's 11 PM, you're struggling, you're not feeling your absolute best. And you're like, I need this. This is the last straw. So unfortunately, this isn't going to change. It's just going to keep getting stronger and stronger. So with that, there's a whole lot going on. Every single time I go onto Instagram and I see my feed or YouTube or whatever it is, there's typically something being pushed that's just not going to actually help you out. It's just going to take money out of your pocket. And even when you actually look at, let's say supplements, there's a ton of bold claims within supplements, how it's going to speed up your metabolism, how, you know, just you, you lose fat quickly. There's a new drink coming out that has all these insane bold promises and a lot of people spend money on it. But when you actually look at what's happening within a company, there's a lot going on. So they have a specific marketing team. They have someone behind the scenes saying, Hey, here's what we're going to say. Here's the claims we can have. And typically speaking, even within influencers, they'll hire these people to actually push this. And when you start to see your favorite influencer, you know, holding that drink or the pill or the, you know, uh, whatever it is that uh, has some bold claims, you're going to instantly want to get to it. So I would say one of the biggest issues is just a constant marketing that's taking place, but not even that it's the people that are looking for those quick results that anytime they see it, they're like, I want it. And adding on to that, it just seems like a lot of money is being wasted on fad diets and plans. And honestly, every few weeks, there's a new type of diet with these bold claims that comes out that a lot of people want to try and they go from one program to another, never seeing results. And even the last thing I will say that I've noticed is a lot of this comes from the lack of discipline. So the reason I want to talk about this is that the people who spend a ton of money on those quick fixes are the ones that are always looking for that short term result. And honestly, a lack of discipline is what's killing you. And even adding on to that, the amount of unused gym memberships, gym equipment stored in the basement, whatever the case is, that's just being wasted and not being utilized is absolutely disturbing. And obviously that does come from, yes, maybe a lack of time, whatever it is, but just a lack of priorities and a lack of discipline. So that's why I want to be fully honest and transparent and just mainly talk about some of the issues within the fitness industry. 
So when I sit here and I think, what is the fix? How do we fix this? I honestly have to say that the biggest and most important thing is doing your research and understanding that a longer term approach is gonna be way better. Starting to enjoy the process, starting to set some goals that you can tangibly hit. And the second that you give into these short term fixes, you have a lack of willpower and you're just looking for something that's gonna happen overnight, that's when you're gonna spend the most amount of money that's when you're going to waste a lot of money and you're ultimately not going to see the results. And unfortunately, the stats are here where it says 60 plus percent of people are just consistently doing that. And it's just not a fun thing to see. Obviously, we can only focus on what we can control. There will be consistently McDonald's popping up at every corner here and there. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that people don't realize in marketing, in real estate and everything to try to capture your money, your attention, everything that's going on there. But when we can build up that discipline and be clear on what we're striving for and have a long term approach, we become absolutely unstoppable. And so that's going to be my little rant, my little message here. Honestly, I have pulled some recent stats as well as the cost of inaction of not focusing on your fitness journey and your health. The stats of America, the cost add up absolutely astronomically. So you can see heart disease, 19,000, diabetes, uh, 17,000, kidney disease, 90,000. And that's per year. That's down the road. And that's why I really encourage take action now, get started on your fitness journey, dial in on it, you know, high blood pressure, $4,000. Like these numbers are not fun to see. And that's why I really do think there's such a massive problem here and it's not often being talked about. Now, one last thing, I know I mentioned at the very beginning, I've been working one-on-one -on -one with so many amazing people over the years. We do not give into any of these fad diets. We don't tell anyone to go and buy useless supplements. We actually save our clients money from not having to spend it on a bunch of useless garbage that's not gonna get you there. So with that being said, I can promise you that when you invest in myself, Coach Josh, our team, not only are you gonna save money in the long run, you're gonna save time, energy and you're actually going to start to feel your best by cutting out all of the nonsense, all of the fluff that's out there. It's going to be focused on specific nutrition protocols that we use, a workout program customized to you, one-on-one -on -one support, accountability, check-ins, all that great stuff. So if you were to spend anything on your journey, I can promise you that this will be the greatest thing you can do instead of spending it on a bunch of useless garbage. And you'll be so much happier three to six months from now when you invest in yourself, seeing that you're actually seeing change not just for the short term, but for the long term. So first link down below, if you want to apply to work with me one on one, I do have a discounted rate net right now, especially because one of my biggest goals is to disrupt the industry and set you up for success, which a lot of people out there are not trying to do. And that's why we're different. That's why we have such a high success rate with our coaching program over 98% results, as well as 4000 plus transformations. And even you'll see on the screen a ton of transformations of people who are struggling, who are overweight, who just weren't feeling their best how happy they are that they invest in themselves. So just wanted to share that with you. It has been shown that you're way more likely to see results, especially when you have the accountability. So I know before I was talking about willpower and how hard that can be. Honestly, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that you have something wrong with you if you're struggling to stick to a plan, if you give into some specific temptations. But the truth is when you have accountability, it makes such a big difference. So thank you for staying tuned with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to smash that like button, apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching down below, and I can't wait to to change your life. Now let's start to make some changes.